Listen, I had this idea. I was thinking we can go and get like Taco Bell or something or like go get a burrito. And then I'm telling you, try this. So you get your man on his back, right? Like in bed. And then you just fart right in his face. Man, what the no, No, they're not listening. No, don't listen to them. The whole crew disagreed in unison, too. And it's funny, they're trying to act like they weren't listening at first, but you know, after she said that, yeah, they couldn't even hide it no more. Oh my gosh, you're such a strong black woman. <laughs> you're so independent, you have your own bag. Oh my goodness, you're so strong and resilient. Such a hard worker. And for years, I've been demanding that we actually look at you guys as independent, hardworking citizens. And now that feminism has accomplished that, it's almost like some of y'all don't want that. Like, so confusing, bruh. Go, go, come on, go. go. Get out of my car. Where you get this car from? Ain't no, don't worry about it. This is my car. These pay Call the police. Call the police. What you mean call the police? Because you stole my car. I have a whole tracker on my car. What you mean I'm tweaking? No, you did take my car. Move, come on. Move. That took all my, I got all my baby shit in the trunk. You need to go. Call the police. Ain't no, you see me one time. Call the police then. Ain't no, I'm tweaking. Why would you take my car? How old are you? Like 16? So what? How old are you? I'm here stealing car. People get kicked. It's not my car. It's not my car. walking and shit. Okay. Okay, come on. It's not my car. Watch. Okay. Bro. Watch this. It's not my car. Watch. Watch when the police get here. Tweaking over here while I'm over here with all the gas. Ain't no tweaking. Tweaking. Because home. why would you take you my car? My car has been gone get for back. two so days. I just found my car. My sister That's brought me here. You. The police told person. me not to come, but they take it too long. You so I tracked my own car. You must not know this is a new 2024. Yes, I can track it. What up? No, ain't no buy. This is my car. Don't worry. Sis, you can. Okay. Yeah, you finna go to jail. Don't even worry about it. You finna go to jail. Stay right here. Ain't no move around. I'm staring. Nope. It's okay. Go ahead. Stay by the car. Don't even worry about it. I'll stay right here. Stay right here. What you mean you leave it because I'm good? What? Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Do what you leave it for. Exactly. Because it's not your car. It better not. Oh, I know it's shit missing. My car has been gone for two days, bro. Police talking about some weight. Let them take care of it. No, baby. I got a tracker. And now by you being hot-headed and letting him know the situation, you're giving him a chance to get away. You announce to him the whole plan that the police are on their way to pretty much take him to jail. You think he going to sit around and stay there after he done stole your car? Pro allegedly, stole your car allegedly. And if that caption is accurate, then that's just sad, bro. How did that make you feel? When? When he slid into your DMs. I, I found it disrespectful. Why? Because I'm engaged and my rock is bigger than his head. So <laughs> it's like I found it disrespectful. And then also, too, what, what was that? Was that just because you, what, were you drinking? Mm. And, and you thought about me one night or something? I don't know, but I, I am I am hot stuff though, so I do understand him wanting to, you know. I get it, but it's still just like, don't go about it that way, you know, and have some respect. You know, everybody got a right to feel to feel how they want to feel, but the truth of the matter is, what do you expect from somebody like Ryan Garcia? It's Ryan Garcia, bro. Like he, it's Ryan Garcia. I don't know if he's trolling. I don't know if he really got problems, but. There's a pattern of him doing things like that. It shouldn't surprise nobody. You know, as somebody who's been playing basketball for a very long time, I would say that come with the game, but uh, nah, that seemed personal. Even that little smile he did after afterwards, like no apologies, no sorry. Man. You don't want to be on me for real. You climb on top of me, you lay down. You don't want to be on me for real. Come here. Look. Come here. Come. Come. What? Come. Come. What you tripping for? Come. Why you... That's why you missed. Oh, now you want to stretch, really? You're such a user sometimes. Come here. Come here, mama. Oh. 
This is probably the very reason why I most likely will never get a cat. It's pretty much the same reason why I probably will never get a pit bull. It's because they're too unpredictable, bro. I don't trust them. But here's the saddest part about it. I actually want a cat as a pet. I think they look, there's some cool looking animals. Same thing as pit bulls. I think they, they like one of the coolest looking dogs to me. But I got to be able to trust you if you're living in my house, man. Holding my client's Hello. face until they notice. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Uh, you gotta come here to check it out. Nah, you gotta find it in the back. Now come back here. <laughs> nah, that's too sus, bro. I feel like I feel like TikTok has given barbers all the all the barbers who actually wanted to be sus an excuse to actually be sus without nobody really even thinking thinking about it. Like all they gotta say is, "Oh, bro, it's just a funny TikTok." <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. That's sus. I don't know if she was being for real or not. She talking about call her phone. My phone lost somewhere in here. Bob. Bob. Guess I'll look. She gonna say call her phone, y'all. What? I know I'm not right about everything, but I know I'm right when I say this. Ma'am, your priorities are in the wrong place. <laughs> Instead of thinking about your cell phone, you need to be thinking about your next home. <laughs> are you checking out or are you staying over? <laughs> okay. Because I need to clean your room and it's 11.43, check out is at 11 o'clock. Pues si no me la limpiaron en nueve días que tengo aquí, no necesito que me la limpien ya porque yo creo que mañana entre. She said she finna beat your ass. Well, if they haven't cleaned it in nine days that I have been here, I don't Ooh. need them to clean it anymore. Oh, I think I'll deliver it tomorrow. Baby, I didn't ask you all that. Put the thing back on now, shit. Oh. Baby, I didn't ask you all the smart talk. I just asked you, was your ass staying over or was you checking out? Now, that was hilarious, especially when the Hispanic lady started getting sassy with the black lady in her native language. <laughs> but what type of hotel is this that the worker gets to use profanity? She doesn't have a uniform on and she has the tightest pants, tightest pants on. I ain't never been to a hotel like that. You need to say hot water. That's the first I thing. You can't tell me how to make cool. <laughs> 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 These niggas brought... thought it was a secret. Uh, <laughs> they don't know the sauce. Hey. Nigga, put water and sugar Different. in that bitch and stir that bitch. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> On my mama tell hot that bitch. Hot water. Nigga. Hot water. Do you know how many niggas in the hood been making Kool Aid like that? Mm -hmm. Bet you my Kool Aid better than yours. Oh, my mama. I bet a band. <laughs> My man's got all the fresh fruits you can imagine. And homie over here talking about Kool-Aid. <laughs> Sometimes it's time to elevate past the hood and realize that, you know, maybe that fruit that he got, it could probably taste just as good as the Kool-Aid or a little bit better. Not to mention, it's actually healthy for you. And it won't give you diabetes like the Kool-Aid would. All right? I'm glad to see that boxing is back is not boring anymore and the younger generation is trying to take it to the next level. Because obviously we all know that boxing kind of fell off after, pretty much after, 
I say after Mike Tyson. Floyd Mayweather tried to make it exciting again, but he's just too boring of a fighter. I mean, he has a good weave game. Like, I love Floyd Mayweather's defense, but he just doesn't knock anybody out. Like, he's not like a slugger like, like homie right there or like Tank Davis. So I'm glad to see that boxing is getting exciting again.